uh, the bunker. Amnesia, the bunker. I can't believe we've actually gone through the entire freaking series. It's freaking sick. I love it so much. But I want to see what's happening. Last thing, just a quick little bit of drama, a little bit of little bit of cheese a little bit of uh, uh, gossip. What's happening on YouTube? Uh, you already know. I freaking love YouTube apology videos. Uh, and just you know, no judgment. Just I just want to see. I'm like a lot of people. A lot of people tend to get really defensive in their apology. Thought this day would come. A YouTuber just made an apology video worse than Sienna May's iconic interpretive dance. For those that don't remember, Sienna May was a TikToker accused of sexual assault, and for some reason she marched into the mines of Mordor and hatched the most diabolical plan of all time, forged the worst video apology ever, where it was an inter- Shout out to the doggo, though. <laughs> I'm sorry. I stopped listening almost immediately as soon as I noticed the doggo. <laughs> I, I'm lost in the video. I just have to admit, like, I don't I don't know if you guys could see that in my face or in my avatar, but I, I genuinely get lost. I don't know what he's talking about. I don't even know what this video is about as soon as the doggo appeared. I need to focus here. Interpretive <laughs> dance apology. So she starts fucking boogieing out there, doing some of this. Look how cute the yawn is. A little bit of these. And by God, I'm ashamed to say it. But oh, the doggo's gone. Who did that? Hold on. Playing the entire situation, and keep in mind. Wait. It was sexual assault accusations that also had a video. She okay. Well. So there was a ton of evidence, and she still just tried to do like an apology interpretive dance. I did not think there would ever come a time that someone makes a worse response than that. But hooey, how wrong I was. Wait. So she's a. So she's being accused of of. Sexual abuse. And this is her apology. Hey, it's been a while since I saw my face. I've never seen your face before. So I took a little break. So a lot of people are saying some things about me that aren't quite true. Doesn't matter if it's true though. Just as long as it's entertaining to you. That bleeding in your ears is normal. This okay. is a ukulele <laughs> apology video. She's turned her accusation. Yeah, it didn't, it didn't sound like it was uh, an apology. Disney more like just number here. I well, I don't say nah, not. Not true. She's got a whole little Broadway moment here to sing and talk about it. Now, before getting into it, let me give some context on what she's apologizing for. Colleen Ballinger is most known for her Miranda sings character. If you've been on YouTube for a long time, you've definitely heard. Oh, that she was. A That's Miranda sings. I, I think that's the first time I've seen her without the makeup. A massive superstar on the platform. She normally has she like a what ton of like. And recently, she looked like she looked like a vampire just got finished like eating like someone's neck. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like super bright red freaking lips. Another YouTuber named Adam McIntyre has really started to spearhead this information about her past and everything that's happened to them, as well as the group chat that she used to have with a lot of her fans that were minors and the way she conducted herself. Uh, she's been accused of like asking for ass pics from her fans. And again, most of these fans are minor were minors at the time. She'd even send really weird videos to them. It's just, there's been a ton of evidence of very unacceptable shit. So she's been accused of like grooming as well as being a predator. And this did that go through, uh, if you're talking about the delay in the chat thing, yeah, it, it went through. You're this good. This video that she made is her response to those. But there is there is like a 20 second delay, I think, with YouTube flat out. Nah, she's given us a one-way ticket to defecation station because this is some shit. Oh, here. absolutely, AJ Hart, you have yourself a good one, my dude. How? Goodbye, goodbye. She thought this was a good idea at all. She doesn't even disprove any of the allegations. She just calls it the toxic gossip train. Like it's some kind of little musical number out of Magic School Bus or something that she's not taking seriously. I did not get another thing, I'll be In honest. In the face of very serious claims, she decides to put on the entire clown outfit and grab her trusty ukulele and go to battle. But it's not really a battle because she doesn't even really tackle any of the claims. She doesn't refute anything or defend herself. She just makes a song. Toxic gossip train. Tie me to the tracks and harass me for my past. 
These rumors look like facts. If you don't mind the gaps, I won't survive in the crash, but hey, at least you're having fun. I'm sorry to keep pausing. So you post some frequently. stuff on here so uh, sometimes me, on you a favor YouTube. Oh, for sure, my dude. I'll check you out your stuff. Like respite from the, uh, from you do the game. You do uh, gameplay cringe. stuff or like this is some pure, undiluted, unhinged delusion here. This is so strong. I feel like what kind of content you make to the periodic table, like the element of delusion that she is displaying here. Like this song is fucking haunted. Honestly, this is like that track out of Courage a Cowardly Dog with Velvet Vic. Or like sucks you into the the record player. Like what kind of content? That's this song, but it sucks you into a group chat where she's like asking about your first period and asking for ass pics or something. But the reason I'm pausing it here is because this is something she falls back on a lot in the song, and I don't want to just keep playing too much of the song. She seems to think that a lot of people are taking pleasure in watching all of this and says like, "Oh, it's all untrue," but you're just doing it because it's entertaining and you're having fun. I've never fully understood that perspective because I imagine. Are you posting a link or what's up? Most people don't have fun learning that people they grew up watching or oh, you post on Snapchat at least aware of being a big influence turned out to. I'll be, be honest with you, I don't really use Snapchat myself scumbags. personally. Groomers, predators, all these horrible things. Like no one has fun with accusations like that. I don't think. Certainly not the victims of it. The victims of Miranda Sings, Colleen Ballinger here, definitely aren't having any fun here. This has been mentally damaging shit that they've carried for a long time. Now, I, I do think there is an argument to be made about, like, YouTuber apologies as entertainment. I, I made a whole fucking tier list on it. There is an element of fun uh, to watching a completely disconnected from reality weirdo do something like Miranda Sings has done with this fucking singing apology. It's hard not to point and laugh at the absolute insanity of that situation. But in those cases... Yeah, did she, did she actually make any response at all about her accusations? No one's laughing about the actual allegations. Nobody wants someone in a position of power like Miranda. You also Sing post stuff on YouTube. Ballinger. Check it out, my dude. Have yourself a good one. A groomer or a, a predator. Thank you, thank you for joining us, brother. Uh, hi, everyone. I've been wanting to come online and talk to you about a few things. Um, even though my team has strongly advised me to not say what I want to say, so don't do it. That they never said that I couldn't sing what I want to say. So. Holy shit, she's done it. She's activating 100% of her brain. What an <laughs> incredible loophole. Checkmate, lawyers. Her legal team That's must it. have been there like, no. She got us. She got us. <laughs> How did we not think of that? We never said she couldn't sing it. Damn, she's good. Many years ago... I used to message my fans, uh, but not in a creepy way, like a lot of you are trying to suggest. It was more of a loser kind of way, where I was just trying to be besties with everybody. There, there were times in the DMs when I would overshare details of my life, which was really weird. That's why you gotta be like me, where you don't socialize at all, ever, with anyone. No matter who it is on the internet. <laughs> you just remain a, 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 an absolute loner. That's it. Nobody else, just you. <laughs> Don't message no one. I haven't done that for years, you see, because I changed my behavior and I took accountability. I'm over exaggerating, by the way. Like, of course, you should meet people, you know, whatnot, but uh, I'm assuming her accusations are, like, not as simple as she's trying to make it sound like it is. Let's go on the toxic gossip train. If you have anything to refute the claims, why don't you present it instead? Yeah, why don't you actually talk about talent it? Talent show ukulele act. She's saying that this video in the beginning of the song, she's saying that she's only going to be talking about the facts, and then provides nothing. The facts must have been out of town during the filming of this because she does not present them at all. She doesn't provide anything to refute any of the claims. All she does is say like, "No, that's all wrong. Uh, those aren't the facts." You guys are falling for the toxic gossip train, misinformation, super duper but station, whatever. Like, she doesn't actually provide any evidence. Come on, Charlie. Don't pretend like you don't know the, the lyrics. They were so amazing. What do you mean? You know he hasn't memorized. Any he puts it on repeat. Nothing. All she does is just say that it's a lie. That's it. And I guess you're supposed to take her at her word because she's singing it. Like, 
It doesn't make any sense. This is just invalidating to all of her victims. Like, this is, she is, like, actually, like, laughing in their face with this video, I feel. It's pretty disgusting, actually. It, I, I don't understand how she thought this could possibly per be perceived in any meaningful, positive way. Because, again, she doesn't defend herself. She doesn't refute any of the claims of all of, like, the grooming accusations. If she thinks that all of this is overblown or incorrect, why wouldn't she come forward with her evidence to support that and say, like, nope, this is where all of this is wrong, this is where it's false, this is where you've been lied to and manipulated. She doesn't do that. All she has here is this dumb little fucking song. I, I, I just can't even wrap my head around the thought process. It, it is quite literally just a distraction. Like, <laughs> like pay attention to the song and the music. Hey, you know, don't listen to the actual stuff. In all seriousness, I do think it's really important to hold people accountable for their mistakes. Um, you know, we should hope that everyone can learn from their mistakes and grow and change their behavior and be a better person. And this is something that I've always tried to do when I make mistakes. And it's something that I will continue to try to do. What? Oh, you don't care? I thought you wanted me to take accountability, but that's not the point of your mob mentality, is it? No. Your goal is to ruin the life of the person you despise while you dramatize your lies and monetize their demise. Once again, this is just like shitting on the victims that have come forward. There are. Yeah, I, that that sounded like you, you definitely sing sang it. Uh, <clears throat> you made it rhyme, uh, but. But you basically just started saying, I'm the victim, like, basically. <laughs> no, guys, I'm going through things. So, you know, you shouldn't you shouldn't get mad at me. <laughs> tons and tons of messages, as well as videos, like, a, just an overwhelming amount of evidence that's all pretty damning on Colleen Ballinger's behavior from these group chats, as well as just a lot of other things over the years. And in the song, she just reduces that to, ah, I was just a weird loser sending cringe. It was just a goofball doing loser weird stuff. And then still has the audacity to sing about how she's taking accountability? What the fuck? That's the opposite of accountability. You're minimizing, downplaying the very real harm you caused to your underage fans through these group chats, these interactions, and all the shit that you said and sent. That That's not taking accountability. You are literally doing the exact opposite by saying, like, it's really not that big of a deal. It's just kind of weird, that's all. And then she goes in to just say about, like, it, this is just directly shitting on the victims. She goes then into the next part saying that the reason there's a mob mentality is because they're coming forward with all of these lies to monetize her demise because they don't like her. Well, Colleen Ballinger, let's supersize the McDonald's fries here. You're fucking <laughs> insane. What are you talking about? How could you even like actually put this out there? I don't know how she could not only write this song, perform this song, and this is definitely not her first take, so go through this song multiple times, edit it, and then post this without realizing just how... I don't even know the right word. I'm it's surprised like her legal team email. allowed her to she upload comes it. Across. Because, again, this is like spitting in the face of all of the victims that have come forward with a ton of evidence against her, saying it's not a big deal, they're wrong, they're just doing it for clout. It's so, st it's so sickening. comments on this video. She's gaslighting, manipulating. Oh, she's a narcissist and a rat. I would never make a mistake like that. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't realize that all of you are perfect. So please criticize me. Bring out the daggers made from your perfect past and stab me repeatedly in my bony little back. This is going to come. Yeah, I'll be honest with you. I, she's not really getting. I feel like she's getting ahead of herself. Like, I don't think people wanted her demise or anything like that i feel like that's a little exaggerated uh if i think people just wanted like to know like hey they're accusing you of this this looks really bad what's your take on it like what like what's why like you have to need to defend yourself what's happening here you know these are some serious accusations but the fact that instead of you know trying to show people like no like this that's not what happened here's the true side of things you know here's what evidence i do have or if you don't really have evidence, give your side of the story, at the very least. And that's like, you know, the people will decide, I guess. But but the fact that you come out here and you start trying to, like, really downplay it and really, like, I don't know, like, make a performance out of it, like, just feels icky. You don't feel right. <laughs> you know what I mean? I don't know. It's going to be shocking. But yeah, most people aren't making mistakes like this. This isn't one of those, like, whoops-a-daisy mistakes that everyone makes in their life. Most normal people are going to go through their life without ever doing anything close to what you're accused of doing. 
talking sexually with minors in a group chat, sending used underwear to kids. The list goes on and on. And oh, well, okay. Home about like how she's just made like a little mistake here and it doesn't make her a bad person. But this is, again, one of those mistakes that like actually does make you... Like you were selling panties? Okay. ...to a bad person. This isn't like a little mistake. Like, she makes it sound like, oh, you don't have the right to criticize me because you're not perfect. Your past isn't perfect. But most people's past isn't exactly one that's plagued by degeneracy like this. So, no one's perfect, of course, but that doesn't mean that people don't have the right to criticize you for just how ridiculously awful the shit that you are accused of. Yeah, you were selling panties to little kids. Uh, that's not okay. <laughs> I have to admit, that's a, that's a very difficult one to defend. ...doing is, and also how terrible this response is. I'm sure you're disappointed in my shitty little song. I know you wanted me to say that I was 100% in the wrong well Again, no, I don't think anybody wanted her to say that she was wrong. I think they wanted you to say, like, why you were giving pennies to children. I'm sorry, I'm not gonna take that route of admitting to lies and rumors that you made up for clout. Once again, just hawking a big fat loogie in the face of every victim that came forward here. If these are all lies and just rumors, why don't you prove your side of it? Why don't you provide any evidence beyond just a song that says things without showing things or proving things? There is nothing presented here that refutes a single claim at all. She's just singing things. And that's it. That's not evidence. The video and song goes on for like another four or five minutes, but she just keeps saying the same thing about how it's all lies and manipulation. But she doesn't prove any of that. Why wouldn't you want to like actually clear your name? I don't know what she thought this song would do. It doesn't offer any kind of explanation for anything to clear up what she's calling lies and rumors. It's nothing. It, it, there is that the play, actually? It's just like try to downplay it as much as possible by making a song, just calling it all rumors, lies, and like nonsense. Of like actual messages and you know videos what I mean? of her engaging in very, very bad behavior, very awful things, which has led to people labeling her things like a groomer and a predator, which she really doesn't like, but that's what all of these uh, documents lead towards, point towards. And she does nothing to refute any of it, except make this absolutely embarrassing song out of it. It's baffling. I couldn't believe this shit today. So yeah, like I said, I'm not going to play the rest of the video because she just keeps saying it's all lies, it's just rumors, it's, you, it's ridiculous, I can't believe you guys fell for it. I didn't know. Okay, I didn't know it was freaking Miranda Sings. I'll be completely so honest with y'all. Fucking useless. That's news to me. This is, I do think, the new worst. I heard about her getting accused video. of stuff. I didn't know that this was this apology not, video was not about an her. Easy feat to have accomplished. So that's. Why I've been seeing the thumbnail that's everywhere. Really about it. So, yeah. Wow. Okay, that's interesting. I d didn't know that 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 she made a response. Hey, be sure to join the crew. Please like, follow, and subscribe. And hey, if you like that video, you should check out this stuff.